All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, our rule well. Much peace and blessings to the elect. It's going to be a real quick lesson speaking on this uh, news article, all right, in the form of this YouTube video that I came across, and I find it very, you know, alarming. Right, very interesting, but it's uh, telling, very telling of the times that we're in and the times to come. Okay, this was posted by NBC News, titled "New CDC Research Shows Construction Workers Are Dying by Suicide at an Alarming Rate." Okay, and you know they brought out how in 2022. There were 6,000 construction workers who died by their own hand. And it says an increase from 2021. So, you know, I would like to see the numbers for 2023. And then numbers now, okay, especially with how hot it's it's been getting over the past couple of years during in, during the summer. It seems like every summer is getting hotter and hotter. Uh, you know, and and that's globally, but in in the U.S. a lot. Okay, and we all know that these construction workers, the majority of them, are Jake, are Issachar, Zebulon. All right, which the scriptures say that. Issachar is a strong ass. You know, so Issachar, they, they built for hard work. It's, that's in their nature. But the thing is, is the, the, the wages are not reflecting. Okay, the wages are not reflecting the, the amount of work that you have to put in on these different jobs. Especially like uh, construction work. You know, a lot of the a lot of these guys they they don't feel like they they have anything to to live for you. You know, and that's the the plight of our people here in Babylon the Great. You know, all you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are gonna come to this same realization sooner or later. You're gonna come to the realization that you know all is vanity. All this is vanity. Okay, no matter what job you work, no matter how much you're making. You're going to find out that it was all BS. All right. That these corporations don't give a damn about you and that you're a slave and that there is no hope. OK, there is no hope outside of the hope of salvation. All right. The, 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 the salvation of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You, you, you're not going to find no hope outside of that. <laughs> you may think that you do, but, you know, eventually you going to find out that that light at the, that you thought was at the end of the tunnel was really a, a Mack truck coming at you full speed. Okay? And the prophet, the Lord sent his prophets to, to warn our people. Okay? It says, it tells you in the book of Micah, chapter 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not our rest. For it is polluted, it will destroy you with a sore destruction. So the more and more you believe in this system, the more and more you're willing to sacrifice for this system, the 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 more you're gonna eventually find out. Well, the harder it, it will be when you eventually find out that this place was never for you to begin with. That's it's gonna hit you even harder. You're gonna feel even more like shit compared to the Lord's elect. Right, because the scriptures say you don't work, you don't eat. We all have to work. We all have to grind to get it. But we're not expecting to be here for the long haul. We're not. We're not thinking that this is the end all, be all. All right. We we know that this is not our rest. We're not looking to retire here. Okay. We understand what's what's getting ready to go down, and we we ready for it. We hasten in the day. Okay, and when you go into this, this is all biblical. This is this is 
all in the Bible, all in the scriptures. Okay, and if you were really learned in, in, in the truth, if you were really taught, this, the way things are, even though it's bad, it's very bad. You know, I was talking to uh, Speckle Bird Jake last night, going into how uh, the cost of living is so high and the wage is not reflecting it. And that's you know down here in South Florida, but it's 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 getting like that every it's it's like that everywhere. You know, certain places is easier to live than others, but especially these major cities, where you know you you got to hustle and bustle to survive. It's it's very depressing. And these uh you know one of these people in the comment section they made a great point. They said construction workers build houses that they'll never live in, that they'll never afford to live in. And that's got to be very, you know, depressing to, to do that every day. You know, you build these beautiful homes with the work of your hands, with the skill of your hands, knowing that you will never, you'll never be able to afford that. That's, that's a very, that's hell. That's literal hell, man. And that's, that's literal prophecy. Okay. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 30. All right. They're going into the curses. That the Lord Yahweh will put upon his people Israel for uh, punishment, for judgment, but also for a sign in the last days of who his people really are. Because one of the curses is that the Lord would discontinue us from our heritage and that we would be, be not reckoned amongst the nations. That we would not be called Israel, we would be called Proverbs and Bywords, Mexicans. Puerto Ricans, blacks, Negro, you know, Haitians. All right. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 30. Thou shalt betroth the wife and another man shall lie with her. <laughs> Salakia. All right. So your wife don't really belong to you in, in this world. In this man's Esau society, you don't really have power over your wife. Any any day, she, whenever she feel, let's say you got a wife, if she feel like, if Satan jump on her and she feel like she can, she she got to go, she can just get up and go. You can't stop her. If you try to stop her, you go to prison. Okay. Uh, it says, "Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein." You see that? What's that called? Slavery. You're going to build a house, meaning you have the skill, you have the strength and the wisdom to build a house, which is, you know, beautiful. That's that's a beautiful skill. That's a great skill. But you're not going, you're not going to live in it. Another man going to live in it. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shall not gather the grapes thereof. You see that? So the Lord created this, this situation that we're in. And it's ultimately so that his people would repent and turn back to him. <laughs> but we know only the elect is going to do that. All right. And again, this is this is not our rest. I'm just going to finish off with this. Okay. This is the book of Haggai, chapter 1, and verse 5. Now, therefore, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, consider your ways. You have so much and bring in little. You have so much and bring in little, meaning you're not getting back out what you're putting in. <laughs> right? You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. All right, you see that? So the Lord is saying, consider your ways. It's time for our people to consider our ways. You should be asking yourself, is there really a God? Why? You know, you shouldn't be committing suicide. You should be, you should be seeking the truth. Diligently. And if you have the elect, the Lord is going to show you. All right. All right. Let me read the NLT version. It says, 
You have planted much but harvest little. You eat but are not satisfied. You drink but are still thirsty. Right, because the food ain't got no nutrients and it's overpriced, right? You put on your clothes but cannot keep warm. The clothes quality is, is bad. Your wages disappear as though you were putting them in pockets filled with holes. And it's like that. You get your check and, and, and taxes already taken out. You know? A man already got to it. The man, Esau already, you know, unrighteous decrees. But that's, you know, pretty much it. It's just something I wanted to speak on. This is all proof that the scriptures is real, you know, that those so-called Mexicans are are actually Israelites because they under the curses too. Okay, and the Lord prophesied. Lord told us how this society would be in the last days, showing you in the last days when when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear for all the people more. The scriptures say that we will be subject to payments, right? Showing you this is Egypt all over again. And the Lord is going to deliver us from this new Egypt. Those of his people that return to him in, in truth, in righteousness. So that's just something I wanted to put out through the spirit. Lord, let's edify into the next one. Say shalom.